think video gaming and you may think San Francisco or Silicon Valley, massive game creators with budgets as big as movie studios employing thousands of people in some cases, but one of the most popular online PC games in the world, Path of Exile, was created here in New Zealand and to date it's been played by more than 16 million people. In a few months it will expand to Xbox, which if you're not big on gaming is a big deal. Because, like music, it's hard to make it big as an independent, not many independent games are multi-platform, as in on both computers and consoles. Zach Fleming went to visit Henderson in West Auckland to find out more. Sandwiched between Pack and Save, Housing New Zealand and Family Planning is New Zealand's largest video game studio. Uh, I think it was 1.1 million people played last month. Grinding Gear Games employs more than 100 full-time staff. They make a game called Path of Exile. It's currently PC only. But it's about to become the first ever large-scale New Zealand-developed game released on Xbox. Founder and Managing Director Chris Wilson is giddy. I'd love to see the, the Xbox version doubling our player base. It's a whole new market which we honestly um, are really looking forward to bringing the game to. Path of Exile is a top-down action role-playing game, or in simpler, layman's terms, you have your own character that you control from a bird's-eye view, battling monsters, fulfilling quests to level up and get better items. There's a kind of a myth about the typical console gamer in terms of, you know, liking sports games and that kind of thing and not necessarily being able to tolerate hardcore games, but we want to blow that myth out of the water. We want to show people that a dark, gritty game like this which is relatively complicated behind the scenes, can do really well on this console. It started 11 years ago in Chris's garage with just a handful of people working on it and was released in 2013 to much fanfare, winning several Game of the Year awards. There was less tax paperwork back then because we weren't making money. Xbox New Zealand's head of gaming, Jason Spiller, says the expansion will help show the world New Zealand's talent for making games similar to what Lord of the Rings did for our film industry. It's always great to be able to show off the kind of talent that Kiwis have for making games. And a lot of people don't realise that. A lot of people don't realise that you know, what you see behind us, this, this great, amazing game studio is full of over 100 talented people. Founder Chris says he's always tried to keep a slice of New Zealand to Path of Exile. So we do some 3D scanning of various assets. So we'll send people out to beaches and set up tripods and scan rocks and various other objects. We uh, have extensive use of toy toy grass in various parts of the game and we try very hard to make portions of the uh, world that we're making here feel reminiscent of New Zealand landscapes. Why do you do that? Why is that important to you? Well, it's, it feels culturally different to other countries, right? Like if an American sees New Zealand um, beaches and so on, they think, wow, this is some cool fantasy land, you know, it's a bit like, like Middle Earth or something like that. So it makes it feel foreign, which is why we use New Zealand voice actors for the voices in the game, because it has a slight British thing, which the Americans respect, and it also feels different. It's updated religiously every three months with new content to keep players keen. I would say that out of the hundred people that we employ, potentially 65 or 70 of the people work directly on creating content for the release the entire time. So that works out to maybe um, 15 or 17 man years per three month release that we put into it. So it's like having one developer working for 15 or 17 years on that release. And keep them keen, it does. Graham Howard's been playing since August the 4th, 2012, before the game was officially released. I still haven't tried every build in this game. And I must have, I think, leveled probably 90 to 100 characters. Wow, so how long, um, how long over that five years do you think you've spent playing it in hours terms? Mine would be in the thousands, if not tens of thousands, <laughs> easily. When they do those league resets, um, I usually play for like an entire weekend every time a league comes out, if not like a week straight. Sometimes I take work off to do it. Do you plan to keep playing it? Do you think you'll keep playing it for a while yet? Oh, dude, I can't wait until uh, when does the fall of Oriath come out? Um, uh, it must be like June, July. They haven't given us a concrete date yet. Um, but I can't wait for like July. You know, <laughs> they're about to like double the size of this game. You know, so I will be neck deep in it all over again. <laughs> Being ahead of the curve, founder Chris says it can be hard to find local talent. We still find that we have to recruit talent from overseas for specialist roles. There are people overseas that have 10 or 15 years of really, really dedicated, complicated experience that just isn't available in New Zealand. So I asked him if he has any intention of moving New Zealand's largest video game studio offshore. Yeah, it's really it's really tough to move 100 people overseas, so we'll, we'll be here. Here, helping grow our burgeoning gaming industry. For Checkpoint, Zach Fleming.